For this mobility sequence, we're going to be performing some of my favorite exercises to try and get optimal mobility through our spine, particularly our thoracic spine. That's where we want to have good rotation and good extension so that we can maintain stiffness throughout our lower, uh, or sorry, our lumbar spine, allow our hips to perform the movement, keep our lower back nice and healthy. The more range of motion we have through our T-spine, the less our lower back is going to compensate. And then same thing goes for the shoulders. Being able to rotate and get into good extension with your thoracic spine will allow your shoulders to work optimally and allow them to stabilize properly. So the first exercise we're gonna do is we're gonna gauge our range of motion, which is a segmented cat count. So we're gonna go all the way through our lower back, up into flexion, rounding our back, lower back, mid back, uh, and then neck to finish off. And then we're gonna go into extension. We're gonna do three reps of that and then we'll get into some of the other exercises. So starting down on all fours, I'm gonna have my knee shoulder width apart, hand shoulder width apart, shoulders right over top of our wrist, same thing, hips right over top of our knees. From here, starting through my lumbar spine, lower back, we have our spinous processes, these little pointy parts that pop out of the back of our vertebrae, each vertebrae has its own. And what you're trying to do is just think of opening up slowly, one by one, each vertebrae. We're gonna go into flexion first and then extension second. So starting slow, I'm gonna curl my tailbone down, lower back opening up, mid back, upper back, Finishing with our neck. And then from here, start again, lower into extension, middle. We've got our upper back, I'm gonna pinch my shoulder blades together and then we're gonna finish with our neck. And then let's start again, lower. Good, opening up nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Good, you can use your thumb like I'm doing for a little feedback, middle. Upper back, push that floor away. Good stretch. Same thing, starting again, lower. Good, into our mid back. Upper back, shoulders come together, head comes up. Beautiful, that's two, and let's go one more. Starting again, lower. Middle. Upper. Push that floor away, head tilts in, and the last one, we'll dip down lower, middle, upper, finishing with our neck. Okay, so from here, we're gonna do what we'll call a pretzel. So you need some sort of elevation, uh, foam roller works great, medicine ball, uh, some sort of pillow, cushion, anything just to get your leg up so that from here, as I have my leg planted, I have sort of a neutral position with my hip bottom foot stays straight. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lean and open up our chest and get into that extension rotation position that I've talked about with our thoracic spine. So I'm gonna lean out and I bring my hand up. Now watch what happens. I'm gonna take a little breath into my stomach here. I'm trying to breathe deep into my belly. So a little breath in. And as I breathe out, watch the increase in range of motion. We're gonna do that for five breaths. Breathe in. And out. And again, breath in. And out. One more breath in. And out. Great job, okay. We're gonna switch to the other side. I'm actually gonna face the other way just so you can see from a different angle here. And you can watch sort of that range of motion increase. So place that knee down, lower back stays nice and flat. That's the purpose of the foam roller. I'm gonna lean that arm out. I can keep my head either down to the right or I can face it up, doesn't really matter. And then from here, I'm gonna take that deep breath in right into my belly. And then extend and rotate. Big stretch. Yeah, and let's go for five breaths. Big breath in. And breath out. Big breath in. And out. Good, we got two more breath in. 
and out. Pass a wrap in. And wrap up. So that right there is one of my favorite stretches, favorite uh, pre-workout stretches. What we're going to do now is we're going to take that sort of increased range of motion that we just got through the bretzel stretch and we're going to do what's called the quadruped extension rotation and we're going to try and use some of that extended range of motion and teach our muscles how to gain control over that range of motion. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to take two fingers in that same starting position we have for the cat camel, take that two fingers, place them right on my temple. From here I'm going to dip down and then I'm going to drive my elbow up and high and lean back for one, and then dip down, up and high, two, dip down, up and high, three, and I'm trying to get further back with each rep, up and high, four, good, and let's go one more, dip down, up and high, five, beautiful, same thing on the other side, as I perform this exercise, I'm bringing that arm up and sort of winging my elbow back, I'm trying to get that shoulder blade to come down and in, really lock into our T-spine, same thing on the other side, five reps, dip down, up and back, one, dip down, up and back, two, dip down, up and back, three, dip down, up and back, four, one more, dip down, up and back, five, beautiful, and the last stretch for our T-spine, or our overall spine self-care is what we call um, the prayer stretch where we're going to lean back. So what we do is come down, we're really working extension on this. So if you're someone who's in that kyphotic posture uh, and you're typically sitting all day long, we get tight through the chest, we get tight through the lats, tight through the shoulders, biceps. This stretch here is really going to open up our lats, a little bit of our chest as well. And it's going to try and really promote T-spot extension so that lean back through our mid-back. What we're going to do down on all fours, place my hands together. From here, I'm going to rock back little lean and then I'm trying, what I'm trying to do is really dip my spine as best as possible. It's not going to be much, but we just do the best we can in order to stretch those muscles out and get that increased range of motion. That's one, and then take your breath in, and then a little breath out. Big breath in, and then a little breath out. Breath in, and breath out. Good, and one more breath in, and a little breath out. And voila, so a little spinal health self-care routine. You got your segmented cat camel, you got your bretzels, you got your extension rotations, and then you got your lean backs. And again, with these exercises, try to do them at least once a week in order to maintain, at least maintain range of motion and perhaps improve on it. And the more you do it, the better it's going to be upwards of three to five times a week. And by doing this routine, not only will you help to improve your posture a little bit, but you'll help to improve the joints around your spine and how they function.